Tell me what to do Show me how to feel Under your control Everything is real So hit me So hit me Hit me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You have joined us on the final day of my Halloween series. This is a series in which every day I have been uploading simple yet iconic Halloween looks. I'm super, super excited about this look because in my opinion, this is the best look I am going to try and achieve. I really hope I can do justice to the entire look. I've kept this look for the last day because I did feel that it was slightly more challenging than my other very very simple looks because I did have to go out and actually purchase a couple of things for this look but it is so worth it. I really really hope that you enjoy as much as I'm enjoying recreating this entire look. Joaquin Phoenix did such an amazing job being the new Joker and it seriously the movie blew my mind. Uh, if you want a detailed movie review please let me know and I shall be very happy to do so. I really feel that he can also be on the same level as our OG Jokers because the actor did such an amazing job portraying uh, the character. And also the story was so emotional and for the first time you really really feel for the Joker as well and you feel for Arthur because he's always been this mega villain that we uh, love to hate. Also we feel that he was human and his condition was not just uh, he's, he's born this way but actually life hit him so hard that he actually became this villain. And I really, really like the movie and I'm not going to give any spoilers, so don't worry. Basically, the first thing you need to do is actually change your hair color and in order to do so, you can use temporary hairspray. This is in green color, of course, and I'm going to demonstrate the process of how I use this and change my hair color. The second thing you need is your costume. So before doing your face, whatever you're using, makeup or paint, make sure you're wearing your costume. If you wear your costume before your makeup, there are chances that you might spread it on your clothes or ruin it, smudge it, whatever. So try to wear some of the costume, the one you know that is going to get ruined if you put on after doing your face. And the last thing is, of course, doing your Face. So I'm going to be using these children push-up paints uh, for my face. I'm not going to be using makeup, but if you do want to use makeup, then go ahead. I thought these would be really easy. These are paints, but they're also in a crayon sort of shape. So it's going to be really easy to just draw and fill everything in. Easily washes off with soap and water. Face paint. Face painting hints. Make sure the person's face is clean and dry. Tie up your hair and away from your face. Mix the colors white to get a paler color. Mix the colors with black to get a darker color. Use a sponge or large soft brush to paint larger areas. Okay, so you might need a sponge, a blender sort of thing to uh, spread your paint. Safety guide. Be careful when painting around your eyes. Avoid going over wounds and scars. Remove paints with soap and water, makeup remover or baby lotion. Keep keep face paints away from sunlight to avoid melting. Okay, so I did actually test this before uh, using so a day or two before. You can test this out. Uh, by putting the paint on the inside of your elbow and see if you're getting a reaction and hopefully uh, I'm, I won't because I did test it out yesterday. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna start changing my hair color. I'm already wearing an old t-shirt and to further protect myself, I'm going to be cutting out a trash bag into a longer sort of shape to further protect my neck and shoulder area. Alright, so see you in my bathroom. You will get something like this. And now you're going to become Batman. Just joking. Put it inside your shirt. So. 
So I'm just gonna quickly brush my hair. Also take a brush with you, something that can easily be washed if paint gets in it to make your hair smooth for application. I'm gonna take my hairspray, shake it well. And before applying this to my hair, I'm going to go to the back and read all the instructions. Bismillah rahman rahim And I'm going to start with this part, actually. Whoa. Whoa, it's green. Okay, so you can also use gloves. In fact, I do advise you to use gloves. I'm kind of having second thoughts, but there's no going back. Guys, I have used all of the spray, but I feel that there are some parts of my hair that's still missing. But let me brush them out to evenly distribute the paint while it's still wet. Okay guys, so I am back with my green hair. Actually, you won't be able to see it much in this lighting, but let me go and show you in another. I think you will be able to see it now. Okay, so this is why I told you to be wearing an old shirt. This is washable. You can throw it into the washing machine actually don't throw it with the rest of your clothes because they might get the color i would say try to hand wash it yourself and get the color off as much as you can so before starting my face makeup and wearing my clothes i want this to get dried a little bit and settled so i'll see you after a couple of hours hi guys so i'm here with my green hair and i wore this mustard yellow sort of sweater that i already have um i'm not going to exactly wear the clothes he wears but i'm gonna try my best to match in terms of colors and i'm just gonna give it more with the face and the hair okay so like always make sure that you have like a reference photo in front of you and the photo i have selected is this one what a classic picture okay so yeah it seems pretty easy pretty basic okay I'm gonna open my paints up colors I need are white red and blue actually so First, I'm going to start by outlining the lips. So be careful around the eye area, guys. Oops, I need some space for the eyebrows as well. This is really easy to take off actually. That's good. I'm gonna make these smaller because I need space for his eyebrows. Okay, let me start filling in my face. So his hairline is a little squarish, so I'm gonna attempt to make mine squarish. That's our goal now. <laughs> okay, 
I also don't want to do like a perfect look because his is pretty rough and also it goes rougher when he's like sweating and like all the intense scenes that happen in the movie. Okay, so I think my face is done. Now I'm gonna go over the red. I'm not putting it inside my lip because I don't wanna swallow this. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Remember. Oh my god, this is, uh, I think, the finished uh, face look. I think I'm pretty happy with it. There's not more I can do, but less is more. And this is very, very rough and very, very raw. And I think it goes well. Alright guys, so I'm wearing my red suit right now. And uh, this is the final look. I really truly hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial and learned something from me and I also really hope that you enjoyed my Halloween series. Thank you so much for watching and for commenting, for liking, for subscribing to my channel. Bye bye. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Show me how to feel. Under your control Everything is real So hit me So hit me Head back, hands tied Mouth shut, eyes wide, eyes baby wide. I'm yours I said baby I'm yours